Yo, how y'all doing? This is Iquan, Tawheed is Unity, Muslim Survival God. This is all about street knowledge, letting y'all know how to be out there, you know what I'm saying? A lot of Muslims, man, they're living on the streets right now, they're like headless chickens, I'm gonna be straight, you know what I mean? Living double lives, you know what I'm saying? Multiple personalities, because they're trying to adapt the streets to the lifestyle in the home, but it's different, you know what I mean? So, what I'm here to do is just to kind of give y'all some pointers you know what I'm saying? All praise be to God, the brother like me. You know what I'm saying? Stepping off the street, stepping into Islam, man. You know what I'm saying? I've got kind of, you know what I'm saying, both sides of the coin. You know what I mean? So, let's just kind of focus on something right now when we're looking at interpreting uh, street sort of characteristics and personality. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of young Muslim cats and older cats for that matter on the streets. When they see certain things, they misinterpret it, get the wrong end of the stick and end up, you know what I mean, in a bad situation. So the first thing for me, advice for Muslims who are trying to survive on the street, right, is just to keep your mouth closed. That's the first thing. Silence, man. If you're out there and you're trying to survive, don't talk a lot. Because you find yourself talking a lot and you don't really know what it is. Well, sorry, you don't really know how it is out there. So the best thing to do is to talk less and observe, you know what I'm saying, with your eyes, you know what I'm saying, and just see what's going on. And if you talk, just talk a little, don't talk a lot. Cause when you talk a lot, people tell you to step off a lot. That's a little rhyme from back in the day, but you know what I mean? So don't talk a lot. The next thing is, you know what I'm saying, where we come from, and I still apply that today even in Islam. I got close friends, I got associates, you know what I mean? And I got people that I just see. You know what I mean? If you're my close friend, if you're my real brother, you can frequent my household. You might think, and I was doing this from back in the day. But when I came into the deen, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his lifestyle was the same way. You know what I'm saying? Out of all of his companions, not everyone could come to his house. It's a fact. You know what I mean? I will back us a dig. Umar, Uthman, Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with them all, Bilal ibn Rabba, uh, Zaid, Usama, you know what I'm saying? There's only few Sahaba that could frequent his house. Why? Because, you know what I mean? You can't spread yourself thin out there. And another thing about having a closed circle when you're out there, like I said, I talk to anybody, but not everybody could come to my house. You know what I'm saying? I got a phone. I got two phones. I got one for my family and friends that they know how to contact me. And I got another phone that's just for anybody else that want to contact me. So I know if that phone ring, that's somebody that I'm just meeting out there. But if that phone ring, I know that's somebody that's close to me. But the deep thing I'm trying to say now is, you know what I mean? When you keep a small circle and you say something, if it gets out there, you know where it came from. But if you're always talking to everybody, any little Tom, Dick, and Harry passing you, you're running your mouth, right? You don't know who it came from because you talk too much. So the best thing is to keep closed circles. And that's what I'm saying, don't talk a lot. That's how you survive on the streets. Or for that matter, in the world. You know what I mean? Another thing I'm going to leave you with, man, about surviving, huh, is, right, knowing when, uh, to voice your opinion. Don't just say something for the hell of it. I know this the culture in the British society, man. People just talk for the hell of it, man. You know what I mean? So it's just about knowing when to say things and stop and just don't speak out of turn. You know what I mean? And that kind of ties in with not talking a lot. But when you talk, say the right thing. Think about what you're saying. Don't just jump in a conversation, yapping and yapping and beating off at the gums. Just you know what I mean? Analyze what you're going to say and say it. You know what I mean? And when you're like that, people take you serious. You know what I mean? So, yo, that's just a little pointer, or that's just three pointers for y'all. We're going to tune into this little episode of the Muslim Survival Guide. So, peace out. You know what I'm saying? And I'll holler at y'all later. Good looking out.